Hey, what's up, everybody? Today I'm going to show you a real easy way to access your iPhone or iPod Touch's file system. And it's very simple, and you can use it through USB. And you won't need to do it through uh, Wi Fi anymore, which is a lot slower. And this works for all OS's of an iPhone. So, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to open up your browser and you're going to search for Total Commander. It should be the first link. You click it and download it. Obviously, you install it, and that's step one. Step two, you're going to go on Google and search for T-Pot, and it will be this link right here. Should be the first link, and you're going to want to open it up, click Downloads, and download T-Pot 1.1.zip. After you've downloaded it, I like to put it in the original folder where I installed Total Commander. In my case, I, I installed it in, to in uh, program files. So I'm going to open it up, and let's say uh, you know I had a WinRAR or some 7-zip open with the file. I dragged my teapot file into this folder, into the Total Commander folder. Now, you're going to want to open up Total Commander. <laughs> Excuse me so here we go you won't see this at first so first thing you want to do is go to configuration and then go to options from here you go to plugins and then you go to file system plugins configure and you're gonna click add see I already have it in my case so I'm just gonna show you what it'd be like if you were to do it so remember wherever you uh, extracted your teapot file you navigate to where it is click open I'm not gonna click open because I already have it and then you click OK. I already have it, so I'm not going to click it. And just click OK. And now, when you want to uh, navigate your file system from your iPhone, you just simply click on here, click Network Neighborhood, click Teapot, and here you go. Here's your uh, file system that's usually hidden from uh, your your browser your uh what do you call it explorer windows or whatever so now there's one more thing i want to say when you want to transfer files from your computer to your iphone you can't drag and drop from folders per se you must do it within the program itself so you as you can see let's say you wanted to drag this to here that's not going to work you have to do it from within the program so if you wanted to drag, uh, let's see, just this black rain log, right? I don't want to put it in the main system folder. Um, if you want to drag it, if you want to put this file on your iPhone or iPod, you just simply drag it from within the program. Click OK. Boom, it's done. Well, I hope that helps you out, and if you got any questions, just hit up the comments box, alright? Peace.